Hi everybody and welcome back to my kitchen. Drag up a chair, we're going to get started with this recipe and this is my family's traditional congealed salad. We have it every Thanksgiving and every Christmas. Um, I've got two boxes of orange four and a half serving jellos, two of them, and one cherry. Now you can use all cherry, or you can use all uh, raspberry. Whoops, I'm having trouble with this thing. Um, I don't know how to make it tighten up. There we go, maybe that's it. Or you can use uh, raspberry. You can use um, black cherry. But anyway, uh, it would get normally call for three cups of boiling water. But we're only going to use two cups. I'm going to get all this jello in here. And I'm using the orange because I, <clears throat> I just happen to like that citrus. I like orange and I like it in my, um, in my congealed salad. Some people may not. They can use all cherry or all raspberry. And now we're going to get this stirred in. And remember, we've only used two cups of hot water, not three. There we go. I think that's pretty much stirred in. Now, what did I do with it? I'm going to start off with one can, but this is whole, whole berry um, cranberry sauce. And while this jello is hot, I'm going to add it. Although, you know what? I got this at Aldi's. I don't see any whole berries in here. Mm, one or two, maybe. It wasn't jellied. I'm going to show y'all. Whole berry. Cranberry sauce. And there's a picture of it. And I'll be darned if I see a whole berry in here. Y'all do not get all these whole berry cranberry sauce. It's the first time I've used it in this jello. <clears throat> Excuse me, in this congealed salad. Well, I see two or three. That's all I see. Goodness gracious. I'm going to get this all mixed up in here. So there's no lumps. Okay, y'all. I, I found uh, a can of ocean spray in my cupboard, whole whole berry cranberry, and there's supposed to be two cans in here. So, although it's not going to have as many whole berries as it should, we'll just have to go with that and be happy with it. All right. Still a little warm. Um, 
Now, let me see if I saved the can. I did. This is a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. And I drained it. I drained it into a, a bowl. But I'm going to add the pineapple to this mixture. And get it all mixed in real good. But I saved the juice. Here's the juice. It came to about one cup of juice that came out of it. And the reason I did that is because we're get, we've got to add two cups, not three, two cups of cold water. And I wanted to know where where I stood with the pineapple juice, right? So you got a lot of liquid in here with the cranberries and the um, pineapple, so you're not going to add as much liquid. So here it is, it's got everything in it almost. The next thing going in is a cup of chopped nuts. And I'm using pecans. And this package is two cups. So I'm going to put about half of them in there. Now, this, if you just let this, uh, put it in the fridge and leave it like this, everything is probably going to settle to the bottom. But you are going to put it in the refrigerator. <coughs> and then every half an hour or so, you're going to stir it till it gets thick enough that everything uh, will stay when you stir it will stay in the middle, on the top, or wherever. So, we'll be back. Hi, everybody. This has been in the refrigerator for two or three hours. And it's all firmed up. This is a gift for someone that loves this congealed salad. And in fact, it's my best friend. and. I gave her the recipe and she made it wrong. She put all the water in there. So I'm going to surprise her with this and uh, probably Christmas Eve. And it, I have another big container of it. But um, this has always been our favorite. Be sure and use good whole cranberry. Uh, cans of whole cranberry because the what I bought at Aldi, the Sweet Harvest, had maybe three three berries in it and the rest of it was not. So, and remember what I told you, it's three boxes of the four ounce size of um, Jello, and then instead of using two, a three, um, instead of using three cups of hot water. You only use two and you dissolve that in. Uh, you drain your 20 ounce can of pineapple and you save the juice. Reserve the juice. After the jello, the hot part of the jello cools down a little bit. bit put in the, um, the um, crushed pineapple and the Uh, cranberries and you can put the nuts in then too and let me give you a little hint about the cranberries I'm going to use this can when you open your can of cranberries put a fork or a knife in there before you ever take it out of the can and get it all broken up and then put it in there don't slide it in out of the can because you'll have a hard time getting it apart um, then, let's see, where was I? Okay, after you, you, you put your 
your nuts and a cup of nuts, 20 ounces of um, crushed pineapple, reserve the juice, two cans of whole cranberry sauce, and I, I, I told you a cup of nuts. Then, whatever is amount of um, the pineapple juice you had, add enough cold, cold water to make two cups. Then stir it all up, put it in the fridge, and go about every half hour and stir it so that everything gets mixed throughout and not laying on the bottom or laying on the top. Then when it gets good and thick, you're done, baby. That's the end of it. It's, it's, um, all it has to do is completely gel, and this one has. So you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I think, I think I'm going to do one more video, but I'm not sure. But if not, um, I'll see you soon. Thank you for coming in and spending part of your day with me. You all take care. And until next time, God bless. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.